Good morning, everyone. It's a pleasure to be here. Ori and Dvora, it's, uh, thank you for your kind invitation. What I'll do is present a research project, the benefits of integrating patient electronic diary in personalized medicine and multiple sclerosis healthcare. This project, which was recently launched, led by our team members who sit here, Isabella Le Dr. Isabel Levkovich and Dr. Lea Marmour and our uh, student Asaf Rochten in collaboration with IROD, Eyal Bartfeld, and it's supported by TEVA as part of the National um, network, network of Excellence. Just a brief rec uh, background, our team is involved in the study of neuroimmunological diseases, focus on multiple sclerosis, the immunology, genetics, mechanism of action in medication, and in the last 10 or 15 years, application of pharmacogenetics to personalized medicine in multiple sclerosis as part of personalized medicine, uh, the P4M, coined, term coined by Lee Hood for preventive, predictive, preventive, participatory, and personalized medicine. To those of you who are not uh, deeply aware of the subject of participatory medicine, it is part of implementation of personalized therapeutics. Medicine is becoming participatory. Patients actively participate in personalized choices about illness and well-being. Participatory medicine requires the development of powerful new approaches for securely handling an enormous amount of personalized information and for educating both patients and physicians. In this meeting, in this uh, conference or meeting about social mobile cloud, I just mentioned briefly a few of our recent projects in this uh, field of uh, applying uh, cloud technology, uh, like internet uses by patients of multiple sclerosis, uh, led by Isabella Levkovich, the telemedicine approach to uh, multiple sclerosis supported by the Galil Center, the home-based personalized cognitive training, it's actually cognitive, cognitive, cognitive uh, fitness center in which the patients train cognitively and uh, every training is, uh, is uh, adapted to the personal uh, um, uh, abilities and uh, uh, this is part of participatory medicine. Uh, among of the challenges in medicine, as you have just heard from our dean, is the issue of adherence and this is especially true for chronic disease in which therapies are, or therapeutics are injectable. Uh, approximately half of the, our patients, MS patients, discontinue a, a disease modifying therapy within two years. So why this? Part of it is because of miscommunication between physicians and patients and how can we improve that? There is kind of a gap between the physician expectations and the patient expectations. An additional issue is the fact that there is improving technology for applying genetic information into the electronic medical record. However, there's one thing which is clear, becoming more and more clear, you can see in this review in New England of Journal of Medicine, the missing voice of the patients. So how can we introduce the missing voice of the, of the patients? This led to the development or actually acceleration of the whole field, which is called PROs, Patient Reported Outcome Measures, in which patient reported outcome measures provide a means of gaining an insight into the way patients perceive their health and the impact of the treatment adjustment on lifestyle and on the quality of life. Obviously, for every patient, different ages, different genders, the different um, perspective of, uh, of the uh, health uh, status and, uh, and the effect of medications. More than that, these are not only words, but in fact, four years ago, the FDA published the guidelines for the industry which relate to patient-reported outcome measures, and in fact, Industry, it's not enough anymore to develop drugs which are safe and efficacious. Not only uh, adding pharmacogenetic information, but the question is, how does the patient feel? Do they read, does the drug really improve the quality of life? Actually, the FDA uh, actively communicated the key message, listen to the patient. And in fact, this is the first sentence we teach our medical students, listen to your patients, he's telling you the diagnosis. So there are different ways to apply or to approach participatory medicine. Some are less favorable. In any way, we developed an electronic patient record for MS patients. Uh, electronic diaries comprise new methods for tracking medical information and uh, providing reminders to improve compliance and adherence. So these applications called MyMS and Me, in which there's a drag and drop 
events, so every patient for every day can uh, drop any symptoms, the general symptoms like fatigue, disease-related symptoms like motor, sensory, or ophthalmic. Can, they can add their information about other medications, general health like hyper, hypertension, pregnancy, and so forth. They can, about, they can add about uh, therapies beyond medication like physiotherapy and so forth. They can add information about side effects, and they also add information about did they take the medication, did they miss the medication, um, um, and as, as well as general health like quality of life. This is a Hebrew version of, uh, uh, of uh, the diary, similar, and uh, uh, the variety or spectrum of information uh, that can give us in, uh, data about the uh, health status of the patient, general status, therapy-related uh, information, and so forth, as well as provide reminders for taking medications, and it's uh, very graphic, very easy to, uh, for the patients to, uh, uh, to uh, fill in the information, so the patient fill in the information, and the physician can uh, 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 withdraw it from uh, the cloud and so forth, so uh, they can print it, the patient can print it when he comes to the physician because he forgets the information, or they can the physician can get alerts about specific complications. What is the research hypothesis of this project? The patient use of an electronic diary will allow collection of reliable data on symptoms, on side effects and treatment outcome from patient point of view to be compared and integrated with data on electronic patient record and pharmacovigilance from the physician's point of view. Also will contribute to patient's adherence to treatment and improve cl clinical outcomes. The study aims, our main aim is to study the, and to assess the contribution of the use of e-diary by people with MS, the clinical outcomes, the quality of life, adherence to therapy, and the, additionally, the second aim will be to assess the tool itself, the e-diary usability, and the methods. We'll collect data and disease symptoms, treatment side effects, and patient reported outcome data, including quality of life, relevant to clinical decision making, as well as adherence to therapy. This will be from 100 MS patients, 50 in uh, standard vacation uh, medical care, and 50 using this e-diary. And also the assessments of the e-diary usability, the satisfaction of the patients, do they really use it, and the adherence. What are the implications, potential implications, early in, in, uh, identification of disease activity, treatment effects and side effects may contribute to patients' management and treatment adherence and development of tools for improved assessment of treatment outcome could you be used in the, uh, in the future also in clinical trials. Altogether, this may lead to optimization of patient follow-up and management in MS as well as other chronic diseases. Uh, this is an example of an uh, application of the e-diary for, uh, for clinical trials. Also, in uh, what we do in the multi-center international clinical trials, it raise a challenge that will probably be addressed in this meeting about ethical and more of that legal issues about patient privacy in this uh, encoded information and uh, how uh, to conduct these uh, international multi-center studies taking into consideration these sensitivities. Thank you very much. <laughs>